We don't support a reoccupation of Gaza by Israeli military forces. We don't support any forced displacement outside of Gaza of the Palestinian people. That's home. That's where they call home. Uh, and they have every right to go back and live there and work there and prosper there. In order for those things to happen, they've got to have a voice. They've got to have a vote and a say. We stand solidly behind them in their right to defend themselves. In fact, their responsibility to defend themselves against this terrorist threat that Hamas poses, uh, which is quite an existential one if you look at the, uh, what Hamas is out there saying. Number two, it's, you know, what can we do together to make sure that we can increase the flow of humanitarian assistance into Gaza and decrease the number of civilian casualties? Uh, because there's just been many, many thousands and we don't want to see a single more civilian harmed here. And then lastly, and this is really a conversation that he's had, you know, uh, across the region, is that what can we do to prevent this conflict from escalating or widening and becoming a, a deeper, broader regional war? measures. The atrocities will continue with the Israeli Defense Force. We, we think that that's just meritless uh, and it's counterproductive. Uh, and as uh, we've said many, many times, there's absolutely no indication uh, that Israel uh, is involved in genocidal actions at all. Now, again, I want to stress over and over again, one civilian casualty is one too many. We don't want to see any. And we recognize that many, many thousands have been killed, many more thousands wounded, uh, hundreds of thousands displaced from their homes. We recognize the humanitarian um, uh, uh, crisis that's going on in, in Gaza. But the Israeli Defense Forces are not waking up every day, rolling out of the rack, putting their feet on the floor and saying, hey, uh, let's go wipe the Palestinian people off the face of the map. That's genocide and that's not what's happening. Ultimately voters.